Hey, 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 it's Ashley here, and welcome to another episode in my home reno series. So today's episode is a lot. It's a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, jump right into this video, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's go. Okay, so the first thing on our list to do was to take this dryer out that they left um, because I needed to take down more of the wallpaper and then honestly this just wouldn't have worked, of course, in our way. So we moved this into the garage. Also, we had Ryder right with us in the beginning of this just for a little while, it was a mess. Um, but luckily our parents, I don't know who was here this time, but they would like alternate and come and wash the grills for us because we would try to get most of this stuff done when Samel was um, off from work. I can also say she was quite the little helper because you know she was trying to help us pick up this big behind dryer. <laughs> okay, so now I have a nice empty laundry space that I can get to work on. So the first thing I started to do was remove these racks that they had on the side here. The anchors that they had in here was like pulling them out was just the worst, but I got it out, I got it done. Um, after that, um, again, I started to peel this wallpaper off. So this particular wallpaper in the laundry room, it literally came off like with ease. So I literally just could take it and peel it off. Now that was just the wallpaper part, but then it was just this other part of the wallpaper. I believe it's a part of the wallpaper, I don't know. But that part, I had to come in here with the steamer and start to steam that off. But honestly, using the steamer with that, it was pretty easy to take this off. So honestly, taking the wallpaper off in the laundry room was one of the easiest rooms to do. So after I moved that first uh, layer or whatever of that wallpaper, I came in here into this bathroom and I started to rip off more wallpaper. And I am including all of this because I want you guys to see how much wallpaper. I mean, this is ridiculous. And what's so funny is um, one of our neighbors that live in front of us said that their house was the same way and they had to get rid of like so much wallpaper. So, ugh. It was a struggle. So after that, you guessed it, we came into the front room and had to remove more freaking wallpaper. So I lied because the wallpaper, I said the wallpaper in the living room was easy to remove. This one was actually very easy to remove because it literally was just coming off of the walls. I'm not sure if this was like a paintable wallpaper or I don't know what it was, but it was really easy to just kind of like peel this off, which I was kind of super excited about because I did not want to be using that steamer because let me tell you, using that steamer, especially if you are in a small enclosed space, I literally would feel like I was in a sauna. It was terrible. All right, so now we're about to get ready to um, take down the popcorn ceilings. So we have, well, first we're gonna start with this hallway and then in the entry. So I wanted nothing to do with taking down the popcorn ceilings because it is just really, really messy. So he did all this. Um, he used the airless sprayer to do it. And the first thing he did was just like wet the ceilings and then after he wet the ceilings, he came back and took a scraper tool and like, or a big scraper or whatever, and um, just scraped the popcorn ceilings off. So before we did this, I mean, the house was built in, I, it's like 82, I think, I can't even remember, it's 80 or 82. So I kinda, we knew that we might not have had asbestos, but we still got that test done and it was negative. So anyways, so we got all, we did all that before we did this. And then uh, of course he just started to take the stuff off the ceilings. And yeah. So while he was taking off the popcorn ceilings, I actually was just in the master bath taking off more wallpaper. Um, but then we realized that we needed a scaffold to get way, way up high because the ladder we had wasn't high enough. And honestly, the scaffolds are a little bit safer than just like a regular ladder to me, I think. Uh, so anyways, he just came in here and started to help me out with removing this wallpaper. So the master bath was the last thing that we did inside the house that day. Um, then after that, we just came out here and he got this new Ryobi, like this saw that I'm 
promise you he just wanted to use because it was uh, something new that he bought. But anyway, so we started to like get rid of some of these branches. So if you guys can't remember what the yard looked like before, um, if I can find the footage, I'll put it in here. Um, but it was like trees coming down. So we got some guys to come out here and they actually came and cleared all of that out for us. It was like big, like just weeds and stuff. We have more work to do, but that was like something we wanted to kind of get, get done. Um, so we got them to come out here and clear everything out. And then after that, we just came out here and we started to get rid of like some other little trees and stuff or limbs and stuff that were down that were kind of just in the way. Um, so yeah, so that was like the last thing we did this day. <sighs> All right, so this is what it is looking like in here, a mess. Um, we're gonna have to clean these floors. Um, but we have the popcorn ceiling residue everywhere. <laughs> So he came back last night and did a little bit more, but we still have this little part there to do. And then um, there's popcorn ceilings up here too. And we're also finishing these steps today. So taking everything off of these. And you guessed it. What was your girl doing? Taking off this wallpaper. Honestly, our master bath, we literally, I, or I, because when he was at work and stuff, I would come in here and I would literally go like every day, just come in here and take little by little because it was so much wallpaper in here and this is a large space. too many invitations and the last night was okay so what i'm gonna start to do now is let me take this off the fan so i'm gonna start to prep the walls so i'm just cleaning these up before i seal them um i have a lot to do um to start with the kitchen of course but i have a lot of these to do in here um i have my mask on so i probably sound weird i'm also going to be taking the chair i think it's called chair rails chair rails something like that chair railing chair rails whatever these i'm going to be taking uh the trim off actually yeah i'm gonna take the trim off i was about to say i might leave it in here but i'm definitely taking them off all around here in the kitchen um, so that's what I'm about to do and then like I said start prepping these walls all right so fast forward and the next thing that I started to do was take off this chair railing so um, I just wasn't a fan of how it looked in here so I was like I'm just gonna get rid of this and then we'll just have some nice smooth walls and I will do a, another type of something um, later i already know what i'm gonna do but i'm not telling you guys in this video but anyways so yes yeah, so i just took these away because again they weren't my style i didn't like them in the kitchen and i should have had on like the heavy duty gloves but we did have some i could not find them but anyway so i was just being as careful as i could to take the chair railing off around here so i just used literally just the hammer and the crowbar to get this done so i just started to go around the kitchen taking off this chair rail so honestly this was kind of therapeutic therapeutic <laughs> if you think about when people go to those smash places like you smash the plates and stuff like i mean this was kind of enjoyable okay um so yeah i just went around taking this off around the kitchen and this was honestly the last thing that i did and we left i'm pretty sure i think we came back at night but we took a a bit of a break a little break i don't know what i just said but yes we took a little break if you enjoyed this video though make sure you give it a big <laughs> thumbs up if you aren't subscribed to my channel 
Make sure you click on that subscribe button and you also hit the notification bell so you always be up to date with my latest tutorials and just videos in general because right now all of them are basically even about my home reno. I'm a little preoccupied right now y'all but I will be getting into more of like some other like DIYs and stuff which is coming up and I'm just so super excited for you guys to be on this journey with me and for me to be able to share this with y'all. So thanks again for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye! <laughs> Sunshine, I've been waiting Sunshine, why are you playing?